So here's my question. Just hang on a sec. Here's my question before you say what it is. My question is, is that a puppy hugging a kitten or is that a puppy with a kitten in a headlock and he's going to give it a noogie? <laughs> Are you sure? Let me try on you. With Okay, sorry. No, it's... It's the noogie, isn't it? Yeah, right. Yeah. Well, here's the thing, though. Sometimes that's absolutely true. And sometimes it could be two dogs, it could be two, two cats that, you know, we're fighting with each other. But we sometimes we assume, right? We, we just think dogs are supposed to not like cats. Cats are not supposed to like dogs. They're enemies. No. I mean, sure, cats are evil. We all know that. Um, and nobody really likes cats. Um, but that doesn't mean we can't love them. Yes, that was difficult for me to say. Um, yeah, th sometimes we just think, because we, like, somehow over time we've decided that dogs and cats are enemies. But they're not really. And they don't know it, obviously. Nobody told those guys. Right? I think they're hugging too. I think, I think he's hugging them. It's kind of a, oh, I'm so sorry that you're a cat. Kind of a hug. Um, but still, I think he's shown some love. Are you sure? Yes. Dog could be a wrestler. It could be a chokehold. No, but the cat's falling asleep. Because he's so comfortable, right? Yeah. Warm and comfy, surrounded by love, right? But if the dog drew water. Okay, that'd be gross. Yeah, yeah. Cats don't like water, right? So do you like drool? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. See, you have to find out, and like when we're like. Gee, I wish I was your guy's age again. It's, it's, you, you, you don't just go ahead and think, oh, I don't like that person or that person's my enemy. You find out what that person's like, right? And so you show them love. That's what Jesus says. Show everybody love. And even when you find out, if you find out that, you know, you don't d agree with that person or you don't like what they do, that doesn't mean you should love them less. That means you should love them more, actually. In fact, that puppy's probably going to spend a lifetime of loving that cat really hard because he's a cat. Because, you know, cats. Right? Well, it was a lot of work because you'd be surprised how hard it is to find pictures of cats and dogs that get along. It's not, actually. It's really easy to find pictures of cats and dogs get along. You know why? Because that's way cuter than cats and dogs fighting. Isn't it? It is, right? Makes you feel good, doesn't it? Does it make you feel good? Yes. Yeah, you look at a picture like that, it makes you feel good. If that dog if that dog was actually like just, you know, pounding on him, you'd be upset, wouldn't you? Yeah. Right. But they're they're loving. Love's a good thing. Like you don't wrestle you guys watch wrestling at home? You should stop. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, yeah, the elbow. Yeah, that's a good. That's a good one. Okay, I hadn't thought of that. I was going with a noogie, but an elbow would have been. Yeah, that would have been a good one. Um, love. Jesus wants us to love, right? And love's a good thing, and that's that's love right there. We're singing songs at home about love. That's awesome. That's a good thing. We're going to sing a song. Um, we're going to sing a little song. It's not in your bulletin. Um, you're going to have to just trust me that it's really easy to learn. It goes like this. God loves you. God loves me. God loves liver and broccoli. Yeah. Girls named Dot and guys named Donald Trump. Even big words like Saskatchewan. I added that. It's just Don. Random Dons. Sorry. No, that's Donald Trump. No, it's just random Dons. Because God loves everybody is the point, right? Oh, Don, even, Don God even loves Trump. things in creation like liver and broccoli. So let's sing it. God loves you, God loves me, God loves liver and broccoli. Girls named Dot and guys named Don, even big words like Saskatchewan. Saskatchewan <laughs> isn't a big word. Yes, it is. No, it isn't. It's a little word to say. Okay, fine, that's a big word. Lori has some awesome stuff for you guys to do downstairs. Off you go. Thanks for listening.